Hey, welcome to the continuation of the old drive shaft. Today on the show, we're gonna to try to get the drive shaft bearing off. And as I told you in the last video, you can only get them on one way when you're doing this. It only go on one way because there's a groove right here. So that will help you. I just tore this off for now. I haven't done anything else but take that off because the rubber's all dicked anyway. And we were working on this thing, how to get it over that. What I figured out on my own is separational groove inside. So if you just slide her off, it actually just slides right off. But this one's broken, so we're gonna need a new one of them too. But here I thought, maybe, what the heck? We're gonna have to look for one of them because it's just, it's absolutely rotten. Like it's just, it's falling apart, you know, it's junk. Then that will slide off and there you go. So I'm not sure what that's called. We're gonna have to find out. If you know what it's called, leave a comment down below because then maybe you can help me and I can order the right part. But we need one of them sleeves. This is a dust shield, they call it. And it should be, oh yes, it just falls off there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to pull this bearing off. So we'll get this out of the way. And I do have a puller kit, but I don't know if it's gonna work for this or not. So let's take it out and we'll have a gander. I really doubt it's gonna work for this because it's a Princess Auto steering wheel puller, so. It looks like it might not gonna work. I'm almost positive it's not gonna work. Unless these bolts are long enough, which I doubt. No, not even close. So, frig. I don't have a rammer jammer. Frig, I might need a rammer jammer. If you don't know what a rammer jammer is, I'll tell you someday. Not right now. This is what they call a dust shield. I know that for sure. Here I thought I was gonna be done this today, and that thing's just frig. Doesn't matter what you take apart, boys. You're still gonna need more. This thing into my vise. Threw a piece of wood to the table here, so. This is sitting on something. I got this squeezed in there and I'm gonna take a punch tool, put it in here and I'm gonna try to hit it. I don't think it's gonna work, but I'm trying to figure out something because I don't have the proper tools to do it right now. But I kinda wanna get it done. So actually I'm gonna take my new dad, we'll put in my flathead uh, punch bit there into my bop and we'll give her a bop. See if we can't bop her right off. Nothing like a good bop job. Are you ready? I'm not. Took a little ride out earlier and we got ourselves a puller. We did a good old Princess Auto puller. So hopefully this will work because it says it's good for eight inches. We're gonna find out. She's gonna be tight because I think we got about eight and a quarter here. We do. Let's see what we can get. As long as we can get on her, we should be gold. And it looks like we can get on her. Oh, careful. Oh yeah, I can see how this is gonna go, Captain. Oh, I think we're on it. Friggin' right we are. There we go. Let's see if we can't yank this off or break a finger. Something's about to go down anyways. I'll tell you that right now. Nope, nope. Not going down yet, hold on. Yep. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's turning. How are we gonna stop that from turning? We gotta put something in there. Are you ready? Cause I'm not. Actually, let's turn this just, oh, there we go. Let's do it like that, eh? Oh my God. I think we might have to put some heat to her. It moved. That was a move, bang. Friggin' right, that was a move, bang. Something's happening, Captain. Now if we can get a little bit more on her. Now we can get to the bottom of the bearing. Maybe, maybe not. Holy, how you doing, Mr. Bearing? Here we go again. Here she comes, Jim. Oh yeah, we did. Sometimes it's better off just to go get the right tool for this job. Look at it, just slide right off there. Come on, I think we got her. This puller was on sale for $39.95. So I said, why not? Because I'll be able to use this for other stuff other than just this. I will. Why did I take that off from right? Tell me, inquiring minds want to know. Hmm, damn it. Frig's sakes. Why wouldn't I? Look at it, I turned it by hand. How come I couldn't slide it off by hand? Frig, what's really going on? There you go, it's off now for sure. Holy, maybe not. Holy! Is that really making it feel that easy to take off? Oh, there we go. Holy, it's still on off. Still gonna slide her all the way off. Can you believe it? Unless we cut that ring off. No. Yeah. Oh, what happened? That's what that's for. Now I get it. So we're gonna have to get the puller and come even further with it now, which is fine with me. Okay, here we go again. Holy, we're gonna be professional at this. Okay, this is taking too long. Yeah, we did. So there you go. That bearing is off. 
Friggin' right it's off. So now that bearing's gotta go on. It goes on that way. Holy, that bearing slides on easy. Oh, decent. How do you get that dust cover off, I wonder? That must pull off too. That must be part of the bearing. Anybody know? Leave your comments down below. Why wouldn't you? But how far will that go? Oh, I think it won't slide all the way on, Jim. Oh no, what have you done? I don't want you on there yet. What are you doing to me? Holy. Well, there we go, that part's done. Okay, so I've had this bearing and this ring on my fireplace for about three hours. Dry shaft outside, minus 12 degree weather for quite a long time. So I'm gonna go grab it and see if we can't slide that on without doing any kind of banging or anything like that. So this would be just like putting this in the freezer. And when you put it in the freezer, it shrinks it. And then when you put it on the oven, it makes it bigger. Let's see what we got. Are you ready? Cause I'm not. There it is, all the way on, Jim. And then this ring's gotta go all the way on. Hurry up. This ring doesn't fit very well. Oh man, really? Why is that ring so friggin' not cool? I can't believe how good that bearing went on. That's awesome. This ain't so awesome. This ain't going on very well, Jim. That's a slide right on. Oh, here it goes. Oh, give me that. Oh my God. What's your deal, Captain? Do you guys see how easy that went on though? That's what you do, freezer, heat, and then slide. And then get this thing stuck on where it won't go on anything. Great, why wouldn't it? Oh, way, how you doing? Well, that ring doesn't want to go on. Holy, that ever get cold fast. You know what, I'm gonna have to reheat that. We'll reheat that and recool this. Now that the bearing's on. All right, so we recooled the drive shaft and I'm gonna try that ring again. So here we go, here's the drive shaft and I gotta go grab the ring. I'll be right back. The ring ain't going anywhere now. Okay, the ring's hot, hot. Ready? Oh, it just, it cools it too fast. As soon as it touches it, it cools it. Damn it. Oh my God. Like that cools instantly. Oh well, we'll figure it out. You can leave a comment down below if you've ever done that. But this ring, we'll get her on to her later. I might have to take her and just pound her all the way on. I think that's the way it's looking right now. Sure is. Boo, 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 boo. Well, it won't be bad if I can get it in the right positions. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Just leave me alone. Did it go anywhere? Yep, it's going. Sure is going, Jim. It's not exactly easy to get on, I'll tell you. I think I'd have better luck doing it the way I was doing it before. Yeah. Cool. All right, now that we got her there, we should be able to tap on here. We can get her started. We got her started. We'll use a Robbie because it's got more of a flat edge. There it is. Friggin' right there it is. So we got the bearing on, as you can see, with a pressure ring. So we're doing pretty good. Leave a comment down below if you think I should uh, change all the universals or should I just put it back together for now and change the universals in the summertime. Doesn't take much to bring her down and change the universals. So it doesn't matter which way I do it. But I want to hear from you. Oh yeah, we still got to put that ring back on, which should be actually pretty easy because I'll tell you why. Here I'm right, I got to tack all that on. Frank. So the problem I'm having is I can't find this Teflon seal online anywhere. And of course it's rotten from being so old, right? So if you know where you can get this Teflon seal, leave me a comment down below because I kind of got to know because that goes on like this. And then this seal goes on here, which keeps the grease in when you grease it. So I can reuse this, but it's pretty much screwed. So if I reuse it, it's gonna be back in pieces and it's gonna leak grease like a crazy bugger. So I'm just gonna leave that in there for now because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find one of them right away. Leave a comment down below if you think I, you know where I can find one of them. I'd really freaking appreciate it. Let me know what you think about putting this uh, center bearing on, which went pretty nice, sure did. We'll paint her up, put her together, and slap her back in the truck. I'm gonna look into universals on Monday. We might put them in. We probably will put them in, but I'm not sure right now, so. Hopefully you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification on part two of the hanger bear in the dry shaft. Till the next one, let me know if you wanna see this baby go back in. Love you all. And you know what to do for now.